Hey, call on y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Arakak with Dash. The one to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, the brothers and sisters that believe in this truth. All right, shout out to you guys, Shalom. All right, this is the brother Daniela coming back again with another video. Uh, you know, with GMS Pittsburgh. Um, you know, basically, you know, I ran across this from um the elder, um. Uh, Malcolm's videos, you know, titled Leave the Big Cities, you know, uh, question mark, right? And it's funny because, you know, through the spirit, I actually watched this video uh, probably a week or two ago, you know, um, and really, you know, the question is posed, leave the cities, now the cities are going to be the places that are going to be <laughs> that are going to have like the most help because you, the cities have the concentration of people, you know. And you know, just want to get some precepts on you know the different prophecies that go into how you know really it's going to be all out, it's going to be a hellhole in these cities, man. You know, soon to come, all hell is going to break loose, man. All right, and the cities are gonna have the most. Is gonna have lots of trouble, man. So let's get the precepts. This is Second Ezra. Um, I'm gonna go to chapter fifteen. Um, Second Ezra, chapter fifteen. Right. Right. We're going to go to 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. So this is going into the race wars, man. Right? It says the sword and their destruction draw nigh. Now, you know, a sword is a is an instrument of destruction, right? Many people are going to be dying, man. You know, uh, the scriptures say the slain of the many shall the slain of the Lord shall be many, and one of the things that the Lord is going to do, or, or one of the the key uh, instruments of death is going to be this devil. E man, let's get the precept. This is Psalms chapter seventeen. Was it verse thirteen? It says, "Arise, O Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, disappoint him, cast him down." Deliver my soul from the wicked. If you don't know who the wicked is, let's get that real quick. Right? Who is the wicked? Right? Uh, Malachi chapter 4. Uh. Uh, chapter 1 verse 4 Whereas Edom says We are impoverished But we will return And build the desolate places Thus saith the Lord of hosts They shall build But I will throw down They shall call them The border of wickedness Right So wherever This devil These so called White uh, Caucasians These Edomites Are dwelling There is wickedness there So they are The wicked That's right And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. So the Lord hates this nation, man. All right. So when King David is saying, arise and disappoint them. Right. Deliver my soul from the wicked. From E. Right. Let's finish it. So like you. Right. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Okay. Which is thy sword, right? So this this devil is the sword of the Lord, man. And a lot of Jake, even some of their own people, these other nations that, that are dwelling here in the city, they're gonna be they're gonna be mowed down, man. Especially the Israelites, man. Right? Because they are conspiring against us on how to get rid of us, man. All right, or or, or how to uh. 
enslave us. Okay? So, let's go back to it. Second Ezra 15. And 15. You know, we read that, verse 16 actually. It says, For there shall be sedition among men. That's going to be lawlessness, man. Man doing whatever, man. Whatever can please their flesh. Because that's what people are going to see. They're going to see comfort in these times, man. When there's no food. There's no water. Right? There's, you know, there's nowhere to live. They're going to see comfort in this time. And invading one another. Right? Why would they be invading one another? For food, water, comfort. Right? Casting people out of their own houses. Going into their houses. Killing them. Raping their women. Raping their children. You know? You're going to have all types of madness going on in the cities, man. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So their actions are going to be dictated by what they have the power to do, right? If there's no food and certain men have guns and weapons and they have the power to take the food, they're going to go and, and over to their neighbor's house or break into, some, break into somebody's house, kill the man. You know, or rape the woman, kill the children, take the food, then kill the woman. You know, however, however it may go, man. Okay, these these things are coming, man, and we're warning you, man, to get the blood off of our hands. All right, this is this is prophecy, man. So the cities are not going to be a good place to stay, man. <laughs> you know, that's why uh, the scriptures also say what. In those days, be he even as pilgrims. You might, you might actually get that through the Spirit. It says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right? And we're seeing a glimpse of that right right now. You know, with their, their different, uh, you know, passports and identification cards for whether or not you've been inoculated. Okay? That's, the, you know, that's coming. Right? Military checkpoints. And they're already setting it up, man. You know, this is an excuse to set up the infrastructure for the MOB, all right? And also, which really, you know, part of that is the is the martial law and the military checkpoints, man. You know? They're already getting things, uh, certain, you know, military deployed all around the country, man. That, you know, that take time, but, you know, we're, we're watching for when it may, for when it may come. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, right? The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. I want to, you know, the point I'm trying to make is the cities shall be troubled, man. So it ain't going to be a good place, a good, you know, it's going to be lots of trouble in the cities, man. You know, and this is why we're going to get it. I believe it might be in verse 50 something here. Uh, this is 53. Man, this is the harvest they crave. Oh, it might be 40, so lucky. <laughs> right, this is why a lot of men and, and women. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 40 says, Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. And in those evils, right? Evil means bad age or a bad time, man. So the days of evil are coming, man. They're coming. And when they are here and there's perils, we're going to have to be as pilgrims, man. We're not going to stay in one place. Those of us that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And, and and you don't get snatched up. Okay? It says, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So in the times of evil, we're going to be as pilgrims, man. <laughs> the city would not be a good place to stay in those times, man. Okay? You know, um... Right, so it's, it's going to be like in the times of uh, of uh, the Maccabees, man, where we had to run and hide in caves because we, we believed in the Lord 
that we were professing ourselves to be a Jew, we had to run and hide. Right? You know? Um, oh, look, there's a spirit. I didn't really realize I got, I, I uh, scrolled to it. Um, second is uh, chapter 16 and verse 69. It says, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Man, so these people who are going to take heed to this devil, you know, they're going to be trodden underfoot. And they're going to be laughed at, man. Okay? Because you consented unto him. And here it is, the, the men of the Lord have been telling you not to trust this devil. And then when your calamity come upon you, the Lord's going to laugh at you through his men. Proverbs chapter 1, you know, from the, uh, the 20, 20, 20th verse on down. Uh, verse 70, it says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So you notice it says cities again, man. You know, it's going to be trouble in the cities, man. You know, it's going to be a great insurrection, an uprising against them, them that fear the Lord, man. So if you call your, even if you just call yourself an Israelite, man, you know, or or, or claim to believe in the teaching of, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, E is going to rise up against you, man. It says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So it is going to be great persecution, man. Okay? You know, and <laughs> you got you have more people in the city, so it makes sense there's going to be more trouble. You know? Out in the field is a little, <laughs> a little is less concentration of people, man. All right? But with the cities, they have walls, they have bridges, they have gates. So you can control things on the inside, man. This is, it's, this is prophecy, man, and we're going to see it firsthand, you know? We, we're just hoping that the Lord have mercy upon us and stabilize us with that knowledge and that wisdom, all right? And with the protection of the holy angels, man, you know? And, you know, I, I really just wanted to make this a, a quick video because, you know, I did come across this, you know, I'm only, you know, 2 minutes and 36 36. Second sin, and you know, hearing it, I you know, a couple of precepts popped to mind. You know, I thought I'd just go into them, you know, into prophecy, man. You know, so that time is coming, okay, where well, there shall be trouble in the cities. You know, so with that, I'll say shalom.